Hello everybody, it is Al Kribble, the man behind the iOS Genius channel. Today we'll be telling you how to make a label that will automatically update by the year. Now why is this useful? Well, you obviously want to protect your app and everything in it and all of your code and stuff. That belongs to you, you don't want anybody to steal that. So you're going to put a copyright date at maybe the bottom of the info page or something. Well, I don't know about you, but you are an iPhone uh, developer, and you've probably got a decent amount of stuff to do. When I, like up, when I update my apps, I don't like having to change all the little things that I don't need to touch. For example, one of them is changing a label. What I'll show you in this video is how to make a label that automatically updates. It looks at your user's iPhone looks at the year and then places it in a label right next to the copyright. This is very nice and I use it in my apps. Hey, if you look at the source code for this project, be subscribed and email me at imakeyourapps at gmail.com. A single view application. I'm just going to name this copy date. Now that we have a project, we're going to start off by going to our viewcontroller.h adding a curly bracket <clears throat> and creating a UI label with an IB outlet and I'm just going to name mine copyright date and we also need an NS string And we are going to call that today's date. We're going to save that. And we're going to go right into our .m. Now, <clears throat> if you want to have this uh, date pop up once you hit a button, you can do that by creating an IB action in your .h. Now, we want it to uh, the date to update as soon as we open our app. So what we're going to do is put it in the view did load. So we're going to start off by typing ns date formatter star formatter space equals space square bracket square bracket ns date formatter space alloc square bracket square bracket in it and end that with a semicolon. We're going to hit enter and do open square bracket formatter space set date format colon at quotes and then this is where we'll put our date. Now for year it's lowercase y lowercase y lowercase y lowercase y that gives us four digits of the year. Now, I believe something like D, D will give us the date, as in if it was the 29th of April, like it is right now, it would put a 29 there if you had D, D. But we want Y, 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 Y in lowercase. Uppercase will give you a different result. And this will give us the year. Now, copyright dates usually go by years, so that's why we're doing this. And then to put a copyright symbol, it is option G. Now we want to put that a space in front of the Y, 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 Y. Now once we do that, we're going to, want to put a semicolon to end that statement. And then do today's date, space equals space, open square bracket, formatter, string from date and then we're going to want to go open square bracket ns date space date and that's a lowercase d square bracket square bracket semicolon and then we're going to want to go copyright date dot text space equals space today's date now we have some errors right here because I spelled this wrong that is formatter 
and we have an error right here. Yeah, I spelled NS date formatter wrong as well. So now that we have this code right here, now we're just going to save that, go into our viewcontroller.xib, and we are going to add a label. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to center it just to make it look a little bit nicer. And we're going to make it bold so it's easier to see. Now we want to go to our files owner and then drag copyright date down to our label. Hit command S and then hit run to make it run. And once we launch our app in simulator, we get today's year and the copyright symbol. Now, as you can see, we have our currently updated date. If your user's iPhone was somehow set to 2011, this would display copyright 2011. If uh, this is five years from now, um, your app will display copyright 2018. So let me explain what this means. <clears throat> First we create NSDate formatter and then we create the object formatter. We set this equal to NSDate formatter and we use the alloc to allocate memory to make this object exist. Then we use the formatter and we say <clears throat> set date format. This is setting what our formatter is equal to, and we use the ns string copyright symbol space yyyy. Like I've said before, lowercase four lowercase y's will give you the date as in the year, like 2013, 2002, something like that. And then we set our ns string, ns string equal to formatter string from date ns date date. Now this ns date date will give us today's current date. And this is what the, uh, the main, what we want from this label. It'll uh, keep updating no matter what it is. So in the year 2014, a year from now, or a year from when this video is created, it will be 2014. This is what keeps it up to date. NS date date checks the device's year and time and displays it. And because we set our formatter to this, YYYY, it takes only the year. Then we have copyright date dot text equal to today's date. So we have our label dot text equals our NS string that is set to the current today's date. This is all of the code you need for this project. If you're wondering what I make your apps at gmail.com is, or why I name my email that, it's because I do make your apps. If you want me to help you uh, make your app, just email me a job description kind of thing and we'll get working on an app together.